sorry for a bit of the wind noise, but fuck, I've got to show you this thing. Check this thing out. C33 Laurel. One UZ swapped. D2 Juddies all around. Hey mate. D2 Juddies all around. D1Rs. Five stud, big brakes. My uncle did the paint job on this thing too. It's so clean. This is real low. It's a pretty tight fit. A big fucking motor to be in here. Four cam, dual overhead cam on each side. These motors aren't super great, but they go pretty well. Would be cooler than an LS in here, but this thing is still pretty badass. The mighty waka. What is happening today guys? Back for another video. Today I'm going to be welding an open diff for the 25 Death Sephiro. Uh, we did this a couple of videos ago with Mesa Skyline, but I figured I'd do it again, but I'm gonna do it super in depth this time around. So give you guys a real idea of what you've actually got to do to weld a diff. Here's the diff we got. As you can tell, open diff. Turn this this way and this axle stub goes the other way. It's not good, we want them both to be going the same way. Obviously you want to take the head cover off and drain all the oil out of it. There wasn't too much in this and oil didn't look too bad either. So all we're trying to do now is just use degreaser and uh, turn here so we can get all the oil off these gears because these are what we've got to be welding. You can see all of these gears uh, moving. What we're going to do is cut a bit of plate, put it around here and weld all around it so this whole thing will move as a solid unit. <laughs> you want to do is you want to roughly measure up how big you need to cut the plate. James is just measuring up, we're going to go 30 by 40. So if you see here the plate fits in just nice and snug. What we're going to do now is take that and use it to measure another one up there because uh, we do one on this side and one on the other side as well. I'm going to use the wire wheel to get all the rust off so when we go to weld it we've got a nice clean surface to weld to. Right so while we're cleaning up the plates that we're going to be putting in this we've got the diff just over a uh, campfire barbecue here. The reason behind doing this is to heat the diff up so when we go to weld it it uh, just welds better, it's a bit stronger. Both bits of plate all nice and cleaned up. All we've got to do now is just wait for the diff to continue heating up. We'll play around with a few settings on the welder to make sure it's good. And then, uh, we'll, and then we'll weld the bitch in. All right, so we're just gonna line the plate up in the gears. Nice and snug. What we're gonna do now is just heat up the plate to the spider gears and then start welding. So because we're stick welding this shit, every time you've laid a bead or a tack, this uh, flux to chip off on top. So we finished up doing one side. It's come out pretty good. Looks like shit, but it'll fucking do the job. Now we just rotate it and do the other side. Right, so we got the diff all welded up. It's all done now. Just gonna use the pressure sprayer to spray all the metal shards and shit in it out because um, one of the things with using a stick welder is that there's a lot of splatter. So get rid of all that, airbrush all the water out, and then uh, be able to show you what's what because um, yeah, with all those shards, it's very hard to turn at the moment. Pressure wash this and uh, got a lot of the chunks out. This is all the shit that I was talking about that came from the uh, from the welder. Big chunks of it. 
just using the uh, air compressor now to blow a lot of the water and shit out of the diff and any other remaining particles from the uh, welder that are still in there. Put it out, now it's just on the uh, barbecue fire, heating up, get all the remaining moisture out of the diff so it doesn't rust. So, once again, I forgot to film an outro. I seriously am so fucking used to doing that. But uh, anyway, sitting here in the Ceph, finished up welding the diff. Unfortunately, there's a real issue with it rotating, even though we uh, blasted all the shards out, got all the water out as well, and uh, yeah, it, it's still having trouble turning. Uh, what has happened is that when you stick welding, there's a lot of splatter, and after you weld, um, it leaves this thin layer of, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's this layer of something that you've got to tap off, and obviously all those shards go down and got caught in the gears as well so it'll probably need a bit more cleaning out and uh it will still be good to use um i just don't know how strong it's going to be and how it's going to hold up i mean the teeth on the gears probably have seen better days so much shards and shit through it so um i don't know how long it's going to last but uh, i've got a couple of other open diffs that i can uh weld up whenever i need to because for my plans for the Sephiro, which you guys will see in the next video, probably going to be going through a few diffs, so uh, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, yeah, catch you next time.